Indonesia put six people to death by firing squad on Sunday for drug trafficking. Authorities executed four men from Brazil, the Netherlands, Nigeria, Malawi, a woman from Vietnam, and an Indonesian woman shortly after midnight at two different locations. Brazil's president Dilma Rousseff said she was outraged by the decision to execute the Brazilian man, 53-year-old Marco Moreira, while Dutch Foreign Affairs Minister Bert Conders called the executions a cruel and inhuman punishment. Both Brazil and the Netherlands withdrew their ambassadors from the country. Indonesia, like much of Southeast Asia, has prohibitively strict drug laws, at least in part because it's so close to the so-called Golden Triangle, one of the world's biggest opium producers. The triangle, made up of parts of Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand, produces more opium than any other region barring Afghanistan's Golden Crescent, and the region therefore sees its share of trafficking. The six people put to death were convicted of drug trafficking charges, with Marrera arrested after authorities found cocaine hidden in a hang glider he had with him at Jakarta Airport back in 2003. Brazil says Marrera is the first Brazilian national to be executed abroad, but foreign nationals falling victim to the country's harsh drug trafficking laws isn't a new phenomenon. A British woman named Lindsay Sandiford is currently facing the death penalty for smuggling cocaine into the country, which she says she did because a gang threatened her family. Sandiford has exhausted the country's appeals process, and Indonesia's president, Joko Widodo, has pledged to be tougher on drug trafficking, so a pardon doesn't look likely. Still, the executions don't come without a cost to Indonesia. The country risks alienating other countries, as the Brazilian government warned Marrera's execution would damage relations between the two countries. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.